everybody and welcome back to eat what you sew with co halloween edition episode three the final episode ow so today we're going to be doing some little snack foods so it should be pretty simple we don't have to use the oven or stove which is freaking awesome i don't have to worry about like setting this net on fire thank you for being here if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit the big red subscribe below also hit the bell so you get notified when i post future episodes All right, so let me show you the ingredients that we're gonna use today. It should be pretty easy, you guys. It should be really fun and super easy. So let me show you the ingredients. Oh, FYI, I forgot to add this to the ingredient list picture. So we're using these also. Okay, so this recipe I saw on Pinterest I'll post a link in the description of the video of where I got it. Oh, I'm, am I doing this wrong? What am I, oh, no, yeah, I am. First thing you wanna do is get a tortilla. These are gonna be easier for me to accomplish than the last two Halloween episodes. Last time I did cauliflower brains and plant fingers, and I'll tell you like, the cauliflower brain is excellent, but it takes forever to like put it in the oven. You gotta wait like 50 minutes, but overall, like it was easy to make, but you had to wait a long time for it to cook. And then the first episode I did mushroom eyeballs and shrunken heads. Those were pretty easy too. But the one thing I like about this is there's no heat. Being a mermaid. I don't like fire, I like water. So you just wanna put peanut butter on the tortilla. Let's see. I don't know like how nice it needs to be. Of course in the video it's like perfectly flat and like level and everything, but mine is not gonna be like that. And then you wanna do some strawberry jam or whatever jam you have. Like I bought this, so I'm like super excited when I thought I was trying to look for a recipe and I already had this, so I was super excited to like use it. And then you get a banana, which like, who doesn't love bananas and peanut butter? I'm gonna tell you right now, if you have not tried peanut butter and freaking bananas, like, you are flipping missing out. Peanut butter and bananas are like, seriously the bomb. Celery and peanut butter, totally overrated. Peanut butter and bananas, definitely the bomb. My mom, I, I think, said that Elvis Presley used to eat peanut butter and banana sandwiches. You know, he's freaking onto something there. I bet if you like toast the bread and then you make a peanut butter banana sandwich, like maybe I'll have to try that. All right, so you wanna peel your freaking banana. And uh, mine's gonna be a little different cause she used like the fake, the eyeball things, but I'm not using those. Oh my God, look at this freaking banana. That banana is huge and it's like perfect, look at that thing. Okay, it's like bigger than the freaking thing. Okay, so you're gonna put it in there. Oh God, this is reminding me of my freaking sushi attempt. Which, by the way, if you guys saw my sushi episode, I know how to make sushi now. So, just an FYI. Okay, it said to roll the banana up. Okay, this is already becoming a problem. Look at that. What in the hell is going on with this thing? Why is it squirting out everywhere? We're going to have to, like, de-jam some of that. Of course, mine is not going to look as good as hers. I mean, we, we know who's doing this. It's me. So, then... Well, that did not work. That totally opened up. Okay, so now you're supposed to cut slices. Okay, are you for real with this? Like, this is not working out the way it acted. This is reminding me of my sushi freaking horror movie. I have to wash my jam fingers. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to do these eyeballs, like stick them on with jam on one of them and like see how that goes. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna use this, this writing gel stuff, I don't know. Okay, these are humongous chips. So these little guys are gonna have humongous freaking eyeballs. And then I guess we'll just put the eyeball like there. It looks like it's wearing a mask. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Why are you flipping around? 
Let's go on our right. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Oh, this one's eyeball is like falling off its face. <laughs> Well, that one pretty much just went through its freaking eyeball. You know what I'm thinking? I wonder if I could add like freaking teeth to this. Let me get one of these back. That looks stupid. That does not look like freaking teeth. That looks dumb. But you could do hair. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, horns. Horns. Oh my God, that's the way to go. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, look at that, so much better with horns. Okay, let me do the other one because the other the other set is like way prettier. Does it look like a horn? I don't know. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, pushing its eyeball out of its head. I'm digging it now when you put horns on it. When you put horns on it, it looks cooler. You know what? I also got Swedish fish because I thought maybe there was something I could do since, you know, fish are my friends, obviously. I'm wondering if I can make like a mouth with these Swedish fish. Let me see. Oh, okay, that like totally does not cut. What is going on with this fish? Okay. Oh my God, this is gonna be so fun. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you guys, with the Swedish fish, it's so cute. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, bananas and Swedish fish, I don't know. Oh my God, so you can make them smiley, like little some happy demons. Oh my God, look how cute that is. Look at that, those are so freaking cute. Okay, now that I figured it out, let's try another one. So don't need as much gel, I need to remember that, not gel. Don't need as much gel. Oh, really dude? I already have enough wounds from being hunted and I almost just pierced myself again with this knife. Of course, that little knife ain't gonna do nothing if this didn't take me out. A spear through the chest is how I got this this battle scar. This is a gunshot. This wound is from being stuck in a fishing net and having to claw my way out. I wish humans would just leave the oceans to us. Now these are episodes I love to do because they're artsy. So that's much more fun than like having to like deal with the stove. Oh, you know what would have been smarter is to put peanut butter down. That's obviously sticky. That would have made more sense. Okay. So you might want to put peanut butter down to hold the eyeballs in place instead of like the red, but whatever. These are like aliens with horns because their freaking eyeballs are so big. I'm gonna call these my banana demons. How many times am I almost gonna stab myself with that freaking knife? Okay, so we have our banana demons done. So let's go to epi er, episode two. Let's go to recipe two. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut an apple. So, what the f... Okay, I can't even get freaking apple cut. What is going on here? Well, I'm definitely doing better than Dave did in my Not My Arms freaking episode. Um, if you haven't seen that, it's pretty funny. I posted a link to above. I was very angry at him for how he cut that freaking apple. What is going on with this cutter? Do I have it? Okay. That was intense. So I'm changing this one too. Um, I'll post a link to where I saw this, but I'm actually gonna change it. I saw one where they did like mushroom, mushroom. That would be freaking weird. 
marshmallow teeth, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do fangs. So I have to figure out how this works because you want it to look like a mouth. Is that supposed to be the lips? No, I don't know what I'm doing. How the hell do you do this? Okay, I'm gonna have to go look. I got cocky with that one. I didn't even check to like, I didn't even read anything. I was like, oh, well, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. No, it's not when you actually go to try to put the apples together to make it look like a freaking mouth. Okay, so I figured out where I went wrong. Um, you wanna cut your apple into fourths. So me using that apple cutter, that was a mistake. All right, so we got that. So let's take the seed part out. Obviously no one wants to eat freaking apple seeds. Unless you're Johnny Appleseed, maybe. Is Johnny Appleseed, did he eat apple seeds? I can't remember that Johnny Appleseed song. So now what you wanna do is carve out a mouth part. I guess that kind of looks like a mouth. Okay, so once you got that, so we're just gonna put some peanut butter in there, like that. Okay, so we're gonna actually use the strawberry for a freaking tongue. We're gonna put little tongues in them. Okay, that's a humongous tongue, so better cut some more of that strawberry off. Don't wanna waste the strawberry. They use red, but I wanted it to look like a monster mouth, so I picked green apple. Oh, here's what it looks like with the little fangs and the red tongue hanging out. It's a little monster mouth. So that is freaking so cute. But we're going to do a couple of these. That is super fun. This one, I'm going to do a little different. I want jam in this one. That one's a little ugly, but whatever. I should have had Dave making these with me. He would have had fun doing this. He's very artistic. Oh, just learned about that. Just freaking learned about that little serrated part of this. That's convenient. Did you guys know that these have like a little serrated part on the end? Like I just freaking learned that. That is freaking convenient. little monster teeth I probably could have done better but they look pretty good I think they're cute so that was fun so one more we got so I don't know okay these legs are too long I shouldn't have got such long Oreos or long Oreos shouldn't have got such long pretzels I've seen variations of this but not the way I'm gonna do it. You gotta have eight legs. I bought this to try to like help it stick. So just gonna put that on there like that. Is it sticking? <gasps> peanut butter. I just realized we could put peanut butter in there. So we'll do peanut butter on the next one. So here's what I was thinking with this. I was thinking about like doing these like that and then like that where it has little eyeballs and you could do like multiple eyeballs. So like three eyeballs maybe? So I got the mint Oreos because like mint is my freaking favorite thing ever. I was so freaking excited to learn that Thin Mints are freaking vegan because those are my favorite freaking cookie, always has been my favorite freaking cookie. 
Never hardly get freaking Thin Mints. Where are all the Girl Scouts? Like, are they not selling cookies anymore? Like, I've never seen them anymore. So anywho, that Oreo Thins with mint in the inside, those are pretty damn good. So for this episode, I got regular mint, like regular stuffed, but the thin ones are bomb. And then we're just gonna put little eyeballs on here. So I guess you don't even need the chocolate chips if you don't want them, but I want to do the chocolate chips. So I'm doing that to like stick so that the chocolate chips will stick to it. But I guess you don't have to. I think it looks cute with little chocolate chips. So maybe three eyeballs looks a little weird. But the next one will do two eyeballs. Okay, there's one. Well, I can tell you I'm gonna have a freaking stomach ache tonight because this will probably be my flipping dinner because I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. Okay, so, oh, what am I doing? I just realized it's so funny I'm doing spiders because Dave is like afraid of spiders. So that's funny. That was not intentional. Like I love spiders. I am not like afraid of spiders at all. Obviously I don't want to be like surprised by one, um, but I love spiders. My brother is also afraid of spiders and on Christmas I got him like a box that, you know, it slides and a spider jumps out. Hilarious. Watch that video like a million times. And I also put a fake hundred dollar bill in there so that was kind of like messed up. It's a trick. It's a Rubik's Cube. Figure it out, man. Oh, come on, it's a puzzle. The top? It opens at the top, dumbass. Slide somewhere. Nice. <laughs> it works. <laughs> That's funny. It actually works. I didn't see it. Let me see. Let me see. No, again, again, Dad. I'm surprised it closed. <laughs> I love spiders like I think they're so freaking cool however you know what does scare me is flipping whales the big humongous whales like OMG like whales freak I me mean, not sharks which you know some would argue that if you're gonna be afraid of a creature in the water like probably be more afraid of a shark but the size of whales is like out of control. Like the big blue whale, which is like so nice, whatever. It's like the whale, but you know what it is? My grandma gave me a picture Bible when I was a kid and it showed like Jonah getting eaten by the big fish. And I'm pretty sure that that's why I have a freaking fear of whales to this day. Yes, okay, it eats krill. Is krill, is it called krill or grill? It's called krill, which is like really small. I get it, okay? However, all that whale has to freaking do is yawn and you're getting sucked down there. Like, look at Pinocchio. Or, like, you can just float into its blowhole. What the hell? Like, whales freak me out. Love them. Love all creatures, right? I don't want anything to happen to the whales. I hope that they live healthy lives. I think they're beautiful, but I don't want to freaking be around a whale. My mom asked me one time, we want to go whale watching. I was like, are you serious right now? Absolutely not do I want to go whale watching. Like haunted houses, people go to haunted houses for Halloween, no. My fear would be going to freaking see a whale in the water. That would be terrifying. Whales and Zelda for pets in the Those are my two fears. And this one is so freaking cute. That is freaking adorable. one you guys look at that with the little spider tongue that is so cute this is adorable okay so we have all these little extras so I'm just gonna put peanut butter on these because the cream fell off and obviously I don't want to waste them There's the one with my fangs. Isn't that so flipping cute? So that's it, you guys. So that was super freaking easy. And like, that was a lot of flipping fun. Like you would have so much fun doing this with your kids. 
doing these with your kids would be a freaking blast. So obviously like without the cutting with the knife part of the, the apple, but the Oreo stuff would be a blast to do with kids. So anyways, um, let's see what Dave thinks when he gets home. We will both like give ratings on this when Dave gets home. So stay tuned. Daryl Wanna. Yeah. Wanna. Well, who's Daryl? So here's our little Halloween. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. What do you think of the little Halloween treat? It looks cool, but none of it looks like something I want to eat for dinner. I know. It's definitely not dinner food. Oh, wow. This right here lets me know that I'll be walking in sand for the next six months. Oh, yeah, I know. How about on the beach with black sand? Okay, you guys, so I forgot to do this earlier, so we're gonna have to do it now. Let's look for some fun facts about mermaids. First fun fact about mermaids. Some of the earliest legends of, legends of mermaids come from ancient Syria. The ancient story dates back to about 1000 BC, a goddess named At Atar Gatis wanted to be transformed into a fish, but when she dove into the water, only the bottom half of her transformed. The resulting figure prompted our modern tales of mermaids. Second fun fact about mermaids. The existence of mermaids was never questioned during medieval times. There were hundreds of accounts of mermaid sightings and they were depicted without question in historical accounts of aquatic animals claiming their place alongside whales. Okay. We've established like how I feel about freaking whales. So I can guarantee you, I am not a mermaid that's gonna be swimming with whales and other known sea creatures. Third fun fact about mermaids. Mermaids were often considered a bad omen. If they were spotted by sailors at sea, it usually meant that the voyage was headed for trouble. I'm doing fun facts. What do you do? Not so fun fact. Mermaids aren't real. Okay, here's your bonus mermaid fun fact because like how fun is it to like learn facts about mermaids? So your bonus fun fact, which I already know this, um, mermaids weren't always thought of as beautiful creatures that we envision today. Many times sailors would mistake them for manatees, which means they didn't mistake the planetes for mermaids, are you sure? Ahoy! Yeah, exactly. Ahoy, there will be a manatee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I did say that wrong. Many times, sailors would mistake manatees for mermaids, resulting in descriptions that labeled the aquatic creatures as ugly and fat. A bonus, bonus fun fact about mermaids. Oh God, Dave's adding a bonus fact. Contrary to what people may believe, Mermaids don't actually smell fishy. They kind of smell like roses and spring water. Walk the plank, you landlubber. <laughs> bonus, bonus fun fact. Throat itches. Contrary to what their name implies, mermaids were not very good at housework. Dun <laughs> at least this one. <laughs> hey, you're not very freaking good at housework either, smart ass. Tis the siren song that led me to become the shell of a man you see standing before you now. They call her Flipper, Flipper, tired of her whining. No one you see is as crazy as she. All right, you guys. So there's your fun facts. So let's get over and do the taste test. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is there a nice message for me in that bottle? Hell no, I'm sending this one out. Sending out an SOS. That's what I'm doing. It won't fit. It looks like I'm stuck here for all eternity. Message to all of the sailors. I've been going down with the ship for 19 years. If you see this one posted up, avoid her siren song. You'll never see You don't want to hear my siren song. I'm pretty sure I'm not capturing anything. Hey, hey, hey. Song. Scale it back. What? Standing oh, right next to you. so stupid. Okay, well, you have to talk loud. Yeah. But they're not. <gasps> God damn. The spider scared the shit out of me. You just broke one of my cookies. That was a spider. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't kill spiders.
spiders in this house. It wasn't that. a real spider. <laughs> the only killing around here is you killing my soul. Mm-hmm. You killing my vibe. That's about it. Now look at you broke this one's leg. No, that's this guy's this leg. This one. Oh yeah. It is. Nine legged spider. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm not tasting anything, by the way. What do you mean you're not tasting anything? I rated them tens on proof. But you don't even know what they are. You're doing a lot of brining right now. I'm changing the name to. David Downer because Debbie Put your hands always. Off me. Excuse me, I'm talking. I'm changing the name to Dave. Spit it out, quit floundering. I'm changing the name to Dave Downer because Debbie gets a bad rap and Dave's a downer. So it's Dave, yeah. Dave Downer now. Stop being a Dave Downer. David Downer. Steer clear of the rocks. I told you to quit picking at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fish out of water. Like I said, somebody should have threw you back. Hey, I know, right? Somebody should have threw me back. It should have been in this net. People shouldn't be throwing nets in the ocean. You might capture something you don't want. I wasn't throwing no nets. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome, though. Thanks. Did a good job. Thanks. So, we don't get any taste test? No, you can taste them. Okay, well, I'm going to taste the banana thing. My little demons. I don't want to eat my demons. That hurt my eardrum so bad. You definitely do not have a siren song. Okay, these are super good. As simple as they are, you wouldn't think that they were that good, but these are really, really good. What are you doing, my spider? You mean this itsy bitsy spider? It's a pretty big spider for itsy bitsy. What are you doing with it? Do not put it down the drain. Fine. It comes out the water spout. Oh, down came the drain. Oh, that's Down awful. came the drain? Dried up all the rain and it's bit straight. So he doesn't die in the song. He comes back out of the drain. Oh, oh. down came the drain. Down came the rain and washed the spider. I was trying to figure out if he dies in the song, so that would have been sad, but no, he doesn't die in the song. He comes back out of the drain. Whole story sounds kind of fishy to me, but whatever. Okay, this apple thing. And then the Oreos, I'm gonna eat the broken one so it's not wasted. Uh, okay. Nine for the demon banana. Okay, nine apples. No. You're so cute. I can't think. You're what did so I say? Cute. I'm out of here. Well, come back. <sighs> on presentation, what I already you gave you tens. On present, on all three. I said tens across the board. So I'm gonna give these apple things an eight. I'm gonna give the demons a nine. Those are like super good. Those are my favorite. And then the Oreos, I'm giving those an eight. If you know what these things taste like, you're gonna like them. So I would have never thought to use like a tortilla with wrap a banana in a tortilla. And it would be good, but I'm telling you right now, that is freaking fantastic. So. Freaking fantastic. Am I off the hook, Ellie? You're off hmm? the hook, all right. I mean, I can't, I can't stand here and have you keep fishing for compliments. I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was super fun. This is my favorite episode I've ever done with the food. I love doing this. It was super fun. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Oh, babe, I forgot. I was waiting for you to get here. I was sitting on the couch, and my arm got stuck to the couch. So you have glue and glitter on your side of the couch. Should be on my side of the couch. Yep. Hit the circle of my face wherever I'm popping up on the screen. Also, please give me a thumbs up. All right, you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. And I look forward to next time. Thanks again. Bonus fun fact. Easiest way to catch a mermaid is with a bottle of wine. Bonus fun fact. Blonde mermaids are 10,000 times smarter than their bipedal counterparts. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. If you want to, you want to take that. Oh, it's not a compliment? It is to a blonde mermaid. Well, I, is this a blonde joke that I'm missing? Bipedal counterpart, babe. What's bipedal mean? Another fun fact. Another way of catching a mermaid is to stun them with a complex 